Can you discern between evil and good? <coughs> Maybe I can burn through it. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. At least they're all right. Please, just stay out of my way. Ruvik's trying to take control of him. Maybe I can stop him. Maybe I can stop Ruvik then. Let's 
Leslie! Leslie, where are you?
Huh? What was that about? Oh god, more of them. Keep me here. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. Not safe. Hurry! This way! Is it? 
Over. I hope that bastard doesn't come back. For your sake, Leslie. Leslie can go home, can take the train all the way home? No, Leslie. Not today. You'll protect me? Yes. That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be surprised. Understand. You don't know what he'll become. We know exactly what he'll become. That's why we need him. You don't understand what Ruvik is after. Ruvik is a corpse. He's after Leslie. And so are we. And you're more afraid of him than us? Don't patronize me. I have orders. But I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one who can... Shit. He's too far gone. I've got to stop him.
answer our questions. What are you afraid of? What could haunt you so? What could you need that only we could be the ones to fill it? Was your waste of life something you wished to return to? Are you not grateful for what we've done for you? We let you into our circle. We gave you a new life. Why will you turn your back on us? Why will you not stand with us? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up and get out of the way! are dying when connected to the machine? What are you implying, Jimenez? After what you did to him, now all of this is just conjecture. But it's as if Ruben's consciousness remains trapped inside Stem, and he's attacking anyone attempting to enter. This is inexcusable. We need to get around this. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Ruvik. He was in STEM all along. Well, he's not gonna get me. But why Leslie? What makes him special? Leslie was not always like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. The data would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Reuben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Reuben's own loss of family. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. someone rational inside STEM. Potentially that person could neutralize Reuben. I mean, Ruvik. With my knowledge of the system, I may be of some... Absolutely not. We can't afford you complicating this any further. We will prepare one of our own. Sending someone inexperienced, we... we can't even be sure they can come back. Then it will need to be someone... expendable. Expendable? So that's how you see me. And I trusted you. <laughs>
Where am I now? Sebastian was here? Enough of this shit.
disappointing, kid. Such a simple mission, but still, you act out. Thankfully for us, there's always a backup plan. Not everything we give you is for your benefit. The infusion. What did you put in me? We needed to know if one of us could survive in the system. But we're not about to risk anyone of value. You were sent to carry us in with you. So here I am. No. It's Rubik. He's making all of this. You gave yourself to us. You made the choice of your own free will. We were the only ones who cared. The ones who took you from your useless life. We gave you a reason to exist. And how do you thank us? By destroying our work? Where will you go when you leave us, kid? Who will have us? Answer our questions. Is it out of fear? Fear is such a subtle thing. But when one experiences true fear, is when they can be controlled. They can be molded. STEM is an abortion, a machine designed on the premise of fear. But in a sense, it is perfect for what we hope to achieve. You will be the first. You will bow under this fear, or you will die. You will serve as an example for what we will become. This is me. I'm connected. Just like everyone else. I'm getting out of here.
Sebastian. Get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... It doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Ruvik. He's the one that... It... None of this is real. You aren't real. You want to believe that, but I'm right here. I've been with you this whole time. This world is a nightmare. But I'm not afraid of you anymore. That just shows how little you understand. You should be very afraid. We have you, kid. And you know the consequences for failure. We won't let you just leave us. You fulfilled what little use you have. This world is a prison for you to run in. Fuck you. I've had enough of this. I'll kill you right here. Try and fight us, Kidman. You're going to die, kid.
It's a shame you'll never see what we accomplished. You don't know me. I'm stronger than you think. Are you sure enough in yourself? Sure enough to face the responsibilities of your actions? Agent Kidman, we've got him from here. How long has it been? 37 minutes since the first pulse. How did we get here? What are you talking about? Uh, just give me a minute. I need to get Myra. my head straight. Myra, we need you back here. All right, but we've got word he wants a debriefing as soon as you get back. to the real world, Sebastian. I hope you find what you're looking for. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one is. You've been on assignment for a week. 
How has it been? Observe and report, just like you ordered. It's surreal to be on the other side after all I've been through. Any signs of anything? Nothing yet. I'm not about to be caught snooping around the classified room while I'm still on probation, so I can't get what they have on us. Just earn their trust. That's all you can do now. It'll take a while, but in the end, they will let you in. I didn't know all these police officers were characters, though. Guess the tough, hard-boiled detective stereotype is still going strong. Our reports on Oda are that he doesn't let things slide. So be extra careful around him. Will do. Though I can't imagine us getting along well. And Detective Castellanos. Anything you have to share on him? Seems drunk half the time. But at least he's considerate. Is he really the one people are concerned about? He seems almost harmless. He is known to get emotional. Just make sure to give him his space. Respect him as your superior. Well, here's where you'll be living. The view's pretty spectacular, huh? Holy shit. This is different than I'm used to. If you saw where I grew up. The past is over. You're with us now. Here are the keys. It's yours. You'll have to take care of your own food, clothing, and incidentals. But your bank account has more than enough to take care of that. So that's it? What am I supposed to do? Whatever you desire. But your assignment at the Crimson City Police Department is precedent to everything. You are a police officer, and you must live as such and act as such. I don't normally say this, but thank you. You shouldn't be thanking us. These aren't gifts we provide. You have a very specific assignment at KCPD, and all of this is in exchange for that. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Don't apologize. Just show us you can do your job. Please, roll up your sleeve. Whoa, now. That's a big syringe. Don't think you're putting that fucking thing in me. Miss Kidman, you agreed to this. Don't forget that. Nothing we're doing is malicious. It's only proper protocol. You know what's proper protocol? Telling the person getting the fucking shot where the hell she is and what's the fucking point. Ow! Damn it, that hurt. Hey guys, what the fuck? Is anyone there? You give me a shot, then just let this weird video play on repeat? Some great fucking medical science you've got going on in here. About damn time. All right, can I go now? Not right now, Miss Kidman. How are you feeling? Any headaches? Nosebleeds, perhaps? What? No. But I do feel a little floaty. Almost like I'm underwater. That's consistent with the effects of the compound. We just have one last part of this test to partake in. Then you will be free to go. Sure. Go for it, I guess. Good. I will now ask you a series of questions. You will answer them while watching the images in front of you. You will not look away from the screen. Do you understand? Yes. Question number one. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. I don't remember her name. Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure KCPD leave us alone. Then there is the reporter from the Crimson Post, Ivan. Something or other, he has become a personal annoyance. He barely qualifies as a tabloid journalist, writing cover stories about tales of church sacrifices and other nonsense. But now he's being persistent about the missing patient's claim. I'll be damned if he is the man who brings Beacon down. 
It seems that Reuben could be useful for other forms of problem solving. Perhaps I can interest this reporter in an exclusive interview. His demeanor has turned far too aggressive and his techniques even more perverse. Da Vinci would dissect corpses to further his anatomical studies, but what Reuben has done goes beyond demanding his subjects be aware as he dissects them to truly see how the mind reacts. He's more of a butcher than an artist. But we must remain scientists above all. I had taught him from a young age that the end shall justify the means, but I could not have predicted things to be this extreme. Mobius has learned of his involvement due to my carelessness. I've asked they bring him on board to assist in development. Perhaps offering him better facilities and support will refocus him and stave off his gruesome proclivities. I saw what they have done to him, and I am appalled. To think the young boy I mentored is now this, a mass of gray matter in a glorified test tube. Could they have been planning this all along? And what have I become in all of this? They've managed to keep his mind alive by simulating an artificial body. His consciousness is being confined to a mental straitjacket, a gear in their infernal machine. They have even stricken his name in humanity, referring to him by an anagram, Ruvik. A crude joke, as if spitting on his grave. I almost felt the urge to smash the case and end it right there. But my anger was quickly replaced by scientific curiosity. Reuben's legacy will live on. I will spearhead the next step. I will create something of my own out of this tragedy. Reuben's experimentation has demanded more and more subjects. And sad to say, they're suffering as much as, if not more than, his previous patients. Fortunately, Beacon and the city offer no shortage of expendable subjects. I should feel guiltier than I do, but my Hippocratic oath was abandoned long ago. The scientific and medical potential of the work is too great to be denied. Mobius has also offered me a respectable amount of compensation. Promoting me to director at Beacon is not something to be taken lightly. First, however, they want me to have a reputation, publishing studies in various journals. Repurposing some of Rubin's research towards patient evaluation seems viable. I doubt he will even notice. After surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister. His love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Reuben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided seem sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? There's only one way to find out for certain, but I must continue these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know, lest they take this from me as well. They grow impatient with our progress, 
and demand briefings on the development process. At first stressing the results, but now they work off a timeline based on their needs. Typical bureaucrats. I've been pushing Reuben, but he's retreated further, doing his research at home and refusing to come to the lab unless it's directly working on our STEM prototype. I am feeling uneasy, and no doubt Mobius is looking on us with question. They're coming for me. I don't know how, but they know everything. They even know about Leslie. There's no use hiding this anymore. I'll enter the system, and my return will be proof that all of this was worth it. I can, of course, convince them that it wasn't for me. It was for their goals. There are just the final tweaks left. Once I finish, I will put Leslie in the stem with myself and activate it. The wireless signal should ring out in the near distance. I can't speak for those unfortunate to be around, but like I always said, the ends will justify the means. Finally, Mobius will see that I am one of their chosen ones. Reuben is but a ghost. I am their savior. Their plan is nothing without me.